Glasgow Caledonian University is currently working with Historic Scotland at a location in East Ayrshire. Thermal monitoring equipment has been installed in an outbuilding which has been empty and unused for many years. This has provided a rare and valuable opportunity to test various insulation solutions starting from a completely uninsulated state. The front elevation of the building is completely unshielded to the north and overlooks a large area. A solar panel is installed on the rear of the building, on the south facing aspect. After mounting the bracket, the drill bit shows wet residue from previous repointing using mortar which has caused dampness to become trapped in the wall. The solar panel is angled for maximum sunlight and the power cable is fed through a gap in the window. There is no mains power on site, so a battery and solar panel are used to power the four data loggers. Okay, I'm, I'm just about to install one of the heat flow meters on, onto the original wall surface here. Um, the plaster board had been damaged, so um, it would make no sense in, in taking a measurement on the plaster board because when, when the room is heated, you'll get warm air passing up behind the plasterboard and it will give you a, a false reading. So we might as well take advantage of the exposed original wall surface and take a, a, a direct reading through the old construction. So because, because the surface is uh, uh, quite uneven, I'm just going to apply some silicon sealant the silicon sealant is applied to ensure a smooth surface for conduction. So hopefully, I've put a, another heat flux meter on, on, on the same wall, but uh, here the, the plasterboard is in uh, better condition, so we can measure the uh, effect of the uh, plasterboard on um, uh, how that affects the heat loss through, through the wall um, and uh, then we'll have uh, a comparison with the heat loss directly through the, um, the stone. The heat flux meters and thermocouples are connected to the data loggers. There are four data loggers in total, one for each room in the house. Uh, we've now finished the installation of the heat flux meters on the walls. Um, so we've put in four per room and we've tried to cover uh, the different uh, wall types. So, for example, up here uh, the, the, the walls appear to be lath and plaster, whereas downstairs uh, they're uh, more or less, I think, all plasterboard. And um, so now, now we've finished that installation, we're going to start um, adding temperature sensors to the surface of each of the heat flow meters. So we're just applying some double-sided tape to the heat flux meter and... Uh, sticking the sensor on and then covering that with a bit of uh, masking tape to hold it firm. So that's the installation complete. Uh, this is the uh, external temperature sensor with, with its own logger uh, and, uh, in, and it's mounted inside a a shield which uh, uh, prevents solar radiation hitting the sensor so that um, you get a, a correct measurement of the actual outdoor temperature which we use as the uh, reference temperature. The tiny tag module stores data from the air temperature sensor to be downloaded later for analysis. Further instruments for measurement of the local climate will also be installed.
I've got another external temperature sensor here that's spare, which I'm just going to uh, uh, mount behind the photovoltaic panel just so we've got a bit of extra information. I'm just going to uh, uh, configure some small temperature and humidity sensors that uh, I'm going to place around um, the building. Uh, so they'll give us, particularly with the humidity, it'd be interesting because this uh, building has been left for six years unoccupied, so uh, particularly... Um, as we get some heating on, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the uh, humidity levels. A laptop is then used to configure the various data logging equipment. Once configured, the data loggers remember their settings and begin to collect data from the various sensors. The laptop can therefore be taken off-site and is not required for the constant operation of the data loggers. The Rich Centre at Glasgow Caledonian University is carrying out a programme of work for English Heritage and Historic Scotland to investigate methods of improving the thermal performance of traditional walls and windows without compromising the appearance of the building. This work will continue over the next winter to enable the owners of historic buildings to make appropriate decisions as to ways of improving the energy efficiency and sustainability of their stock.